What's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy here and today I'm back with another duplication glitch. We have a money glitch to do for the rest of the weekend guys so take advantage of this tonight and tomorrow as well. Uh, we all know Rockstar likes to patch the, you know, these glitches on the weekdays. So uh, yeah, this new glitch that we got right here, it's actually a workaround to the, uh, to the old glitch um, that Obese Giraffe found out uh, a little while back. But uh, yeah, Chris71 is the original founder, Obese Giraffe, Killer Gaming, and Gaming with Irish Demon had the rework with the streetcars, and now uh, Bleds has found the workaround for uh, for the one that got patched recently, okay? So what you need for this glitch is you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, any car to dupe. We definitely recommend Benny's vehicles. Benny's vehicles do work the best, and every other vehicle is a waste of your time. You need one friend for this glitch, but the friend, it's super easy, man. The friend just has to stand there in the corner, and uh, all your garages have to be full, every single one, alright guys? So fill them up with RH8s if you have to. And you need one free LG RH8 per dupe. Okay, so what you want to do is get in the car you want to duplicate, have it parked in your MOC already, and then bring it out. Grab your friend, put your friend in the car, and then you want your friend to actually go and stand over there in the, uh, in the corner. The front right corner of the MOC. So, shout out to my friend Jackie right here for helping me out with this video. And yeah, you see this corner, the front right side of the car, that's where you want your friend to actually go and aim their camera at the uh, at the car. And then exit the trailer. Not all exit, you just want to exit yourself. So your friend basically just has to stand there the whole time. So if you want, your friend can just put a rubber band on their controller, you know, and just kind of chill there, go do something while you just keep duping cars, and then you guys switch off. But uh, yeah, so at this point, the car is in there, she's looking at it. You're going to go to your vehicle menu and in the interaction menu and request personal vehicle. Now, once you request personal vehicle, it's just going to spawn on the street. Uh, what you should see or what you should ask your friend, though, at this point, just to make sure is that, you know, oh, yeah. And by the way, get in an invite only session. You, it doesn't matter who starts it. Just invite only so you guys can both do cars. So you see my vehicle now spawned over here and you do not need custom plates as well. You get the plate from the street car. Should have mentioned that. But uh, but yeah, so uh, your friend should still see your retro or your car you're duplicating inside of that MOC still while you're driving this one. So what you're going to do is drive this into a full garage where you have your LG RH8s and you're going to swap out, you're going to put this car in the garage and swap an RH8 and put it in the MOC. Okay, so we're spawning here in my office garage 3 and I got a few RH8s in here and a few other cars but uh, yeah, so I got a black LG RH8 right there. I'm going to go ahead and swap it right over that one and there we go. So once I've swapped it, now... There, it's actually go out on foot on you know on foot. Oh and check this out nice little visual glitch Look at that. I got my helmet stuck to my hand right there <laughs> That was a nice little bonus um, But yeah, so now your friend is still in there your car is uh, you still have a retro in there And you, now you have a retro actually in the garage But this is the difference. All right grab a car. That's kind of low to the ground like one of these, you know uh, a stallion or anything like that that's pretty low because the, the little it's a little workaround man but it's what literally helps this glitch work now you want to grab a low street car um, any any you know any low street car that you can basically fit under your MOC I know it sounds a little bit odd but yeah we're actually gonna be parking this car under our MOC but uh, before we do that you're gonna be grabbing this street car and you're gonna go ahead and take it to Los Santos Customs now once we get to Los Santos Customs you're actually gonna proceed to go ahead and put a, uh, a tracker on it this is why we need the garages uh, all filled up because you need to get that message that's, that tells you or that asks you uh, which vehicle would you like to replace. Now, once you get that message, that's when you're just going to simply pick the MOC and you're actually going to see what the game has registered in the MOC. Alright, so here we go. Uh, right now, I got the stallion in here, repair vehicle, go to loss and theft prevention, put a tracker on it, and you see you want to replace the vehicle, you hit yes. Go to Mobile Operation Center and replace over the RH8. Now your friend still sees a retro in there, the car you're duping. It's still they still see that that original car you had in there that you wanted to dupe. But the game has registered that there's an RH8 in there. Now all this worked in the normal glitch. This is basically all the same. This is where the new workaround comes into play. All right, so instead of just returning vehicle to storage right now or driving another car out or anything like that, that's actually not what we're doing. This time, this is a little bit of the workaround and you have to do this precisely. I'll be testing this more to see if there's a little bit of leeway. But uh, as for, for now, this is the way we're doing it and it works flawlessly. We duplicated a few cars back to back. So check this out. You're actually going to park this car right now under the MOC. See, this is why I said pick a low car. Straight up, park it under your MOC just like you see right there. Press Y or triangle to get out and that's what you want to see. The car under the MOC right there. 
Now, you see where that blue circle was? Open up your interaction menu, go to your motorcycle club menu, stand over where the blue circle was, and then you're just gonna hit return vehicle to storage through your MC President menu. And right when you do that, the menu collapses and you get sucked into the MOC. Now when you get sucked into the MOC, what you should now see is your same retro right there with the same plate that you had before. So I'm gonna show you the plate once I hop in here. Your friend's still looking at the car. I got that plate right there, it says pure white. Now I'm gonna tap right trigger or R2 to drive out on PlayStation, it's R2. And then once I end up outside, you now should see a brand new plate, look at that. See, I got the streetcar plate that just transferred over to this one, so that's the new dupe. The original, oh yeah, now drive it back in to save it, okay? And uh, so yeah, remember the original now, is, uh, is over there in the garage where we left it when we swapped out the RH8. Now this is the duplicate that we just pulled into the MOC, or we drove out, it took the place of the streetcar plate, and now it's actually in the MOC. So I drive it in and out to save, you know, twice, but you can, you can do it once if you want. I like to do it twice, but I'm gonna show you now that your friend can just stay there, right there in the corner. Because we're just gonna redo the glitch once again, just like that. So just have your friend stay right there. You can dupe over the same exact car because you don't need custom plates for this. So I started out with a custom plate just to show you guys, you know, that there was evidence that you didn't need, you know, any sort of custom plates for this. It literally gives you a brand new plate every time. But in case some of you guys are weary, I'm just gonna show you that you can dupe the car that you just duped right there, the one that has a regular plate. Now I got ahead of myself right here and I was literally about to just grab the street car already. I didn't even request my personal vehicle yet. So remember, vehicle, once you go out there, your friend's looking at the car inside the MOC, go outside, open up your interaction menu, go to vehicles and request personal vehicle. Once you got this one, you wanna make sure you have all your garages filled, especially the garage right here that we're gonna be going into because you need to swap uh, an LG RH8 into the MOC. Okay, it's a really simple glitch as long as you really, you know, follow this. And like I said before, there's no, you know, crazy invite only or public sessions you need to be in. Just go into a regular invite only or close friend session. So I'm gonna go to my office garage three and this is where we swap the RH8. I remember the last glitch, a lot of people were having trouble with it if you didn't get into a, 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 the right public lobby or a solo public lobby. None of that in this one. Just jump into an invite only, doesn't matter which one of your friends starts it and then you guys can go ahead and proceed with the glitch. So I'm gonna swap out the RH8 that I have right here. So now the game recognizes that I have an RH8 in the MOC, and I'm gonna go ahead and exit to ground as I'm taking off the helmet so I can get that cool little glitchy thing, uh, the glitchy animation right there. And, uh, and yeah, it sadly disappears once you go back outside. But uh, yeah, so now the game registers that there's an RH8. There's the car that I was actually gonna steal, so it worked out pretty nice. It's right here waiting for me. And this is when you go ahead and you drive to the uh, Los Santos Customs. Once again, make sure you're getting a low street car. Uh, don't get like an SUV. I'm not sure. I haven't tried with an SUV, but the low street car seems to work perfectly. I park it right under there. I've had no complications with this. We duped four cars back to back. And, uh, and yeah, it worked for both of us. So as long as you're doing exactly as you see in the video, you guys should be fine. Uh, this glitch is kind of hard to even mess up to be honest with you There's not really you know, there's not a lot of room to really like, you know, fuck up a lot in this glitch Not too many technical aspects. Just make sure all your garages are full or You won't get the alerts that you need every single garage needs to be full So double check because at this part right here I had people asking me on the last video that they didn't get the message That's because your garages weren't all full. You need to check every single one So repair vehicle right here lost theft prevention and then put a tracker on it. So now that I got a tracker, it's gonna ask me to replace. I go to the MOC, I replace the RH8 that's inside of the MOC. And just like that, now the street car is actually registered inside the MOC while your original car is over back by your garage. Now in the other glitch, I would just kind of return vehicle to storage now or wait till you know I got to the MOC and then simply return it. But it seems that you know parking the car under the MOC and then going to your interaction menu and you know being right over the blue circle seems to you know seems to work you know and it just bypasses the glitch uh, I'm not sure what kind of patch or what kind of hotfix Rockstar put on it but it really really was easy to get around so once again props to uh, Bleds for uh, for finding this little workaround man awesome and uh, yeah so remember I got the low street car right here I'm just gonna simply go ahead and park right under my MOC right in this little area Park under, press triangle or Y, depending on what system you are. I don't know if it's on uh, GameCube or Sega Dreamcast. Open up your interaction menu, go to Motorcycle Club President, stand over the blue circle, return vehicle to storage, and then boom, interaction menu collapses, sucks you right into the MOC, and now you're right here with your duplicated vehicle, with your friend just standing there looking. Well, the car still isn't duped yet. 
you got to wait until you actually drive outside. So remember, just tap the trigger. Don't hold it or else it glitches out. So remember, look, 23 uh, GV. All right, remember 23 GV. And now as we tap the trigger and we drive out, check it out. Brand new plate after that guy crashes into me. 68, whatever that was. I can't even see it now. But uh, yeah, and that's the glitch, guys. Real, real simple, all right? Doesn't get any simpler than this. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on the post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.